it's really wonderful. But I, I can't finish answering this question without touching on the two highlights. Is Latvia's victory in the hockey championship. And, and that was... You mean bronze medal game? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> against the United against States. Against the United States. That was really one of the best days of my life. Really? Uh, I... I I, I ran, raced out to the embassy to greet the crowds. My wife and I stood there for several hours greeting thousands upon thousands of Latvians from all walks of life. Tipsy university students who were really, really happy, uh, senior citizen Latvians and with tears coming down their face that they never thought they would see this day. Little young Latvian children giving my wife scarves just connecting with Latvians in a real moment of unity, of joy, of, of hope about what Latvia has done. You know, we talk about 20 years of, Lat of NATO membership, but here is 20 plus years of, of Latvian progress in one little moment that was really, really touching. And then of course, the song and dance festival. Uh, I've been a diplomat almost 30 years. Uh, I've been around the world I've seen presidents and dictators. I've been to war in Iraq and seen the power of the United States. Um, I've seen natural wonders, but I've never seen anything like that. It was incredibly moving and beautiful. We, my family stood out and we watched the parade of all the different regions and the national costumes. We waited out in the rain to meet the Latvian American groups that had come. Some of them are on their fourth generation of participating in song and dance festivals from the Latvian American groups. It speaks to the power of Latvian culture and tradition over time. And we went to a Kokle concert at the, at the uh, Riga Dome. It's so unique and so beautiful as that sound just echoed through the whole church. It's just incredible. And then of course the final event um, and to be there for that and the, the, from when the legal flag is raised and all the expectation of the event to those final four songs, the, the golden treasury song and uh, sun and thunder. But it was that moment where the final encore was done and there was this brief pause. And then the whole crowd starts chanting Latvia. I, as I was, I will be honest, there were, there were tears coming down my face. It was a beautiful, beautiful moment of all that Latvia is all the history Tragedy, challenge, occupation. But here's this great moment of in, in an evening of celebrating Latvia's triumph. I, I told uh, then President-elect Rinkiewicz and then Prime Minister Karns as I was leaving, that day made me want to be Latvian. So it was a pretty, pretty fantastic way, very honored and humbled to be here for something like that. So now I have to figure out a way to top it for my next year here in Latvia. But I'm looking forward to it as we've discussed from security to economic issues to, to judicial issues and fighting corruption, uh, building people to people ties for that long term, All those will, will keep me very occupied for the next year. There's a lot to do, the times demand it.